Roll that action. What is up everybody? The D here again with another hot sauce review. Check this she out out right because I almost said the word. K. John's Hot Sauce Company was nice enough to send me this incredible package. Um, it was very awesome actually. I opened it up and it had a couple hot sauces in there with some salsa. A couple jars of salsa. And I'm going to get to all of them um, shortly actually. Um, I have been talking to Mr. K. John Horde and Miss Sue, his wife, and they are very, very kind people. They, um, I've been talking to them very frequently. Um, Mr. Hard said that he wants to meet with me before the Hot Sauce Festival next month. Um, I should have some new products in, but they want me to review some sauce and salsa. And this first bottle of sauce that I have for y'all is called Al Buddha. Al Buddha, I believe, A Buddha, Al Buddha, whatever you want to call that. Um, Al Buddha sweet chili sauce, hot sauce, and it has a picture of a dragon. Check out the label label on that. See that right there. Nice little dragon right there. I love it. I do. I like the way it blends in with the um, background. They have it perfectly mixed in. Um, let's check out the ingredients. Alright, all natural ingredients. Sweet chili sauce, which contains sugar, water, red chilies, distilled vinegar, garlic, salt, and whatever you want to call that gum. Axem, Axentum. Xanthum. Gum. Habanero chilies. And lime juice. Habanero chilies. Habanero chilies. Should be interesting. Alright. Let's cut it open. Check this out. Check it out. Y'all cannot see it. It's so tiny. I guess y'all can. But it's a Buddha looking face doll type thing around the bottle. Buddha. Buddha, 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 rockin' never. I'm not going there. Shaky, shaky, man. Shake that. Yeah. Uh. Man, this label is awesome, right? A solid 7 out of 10. On aroma, that's a 6. You get a light habanero smell. You get, uh, yeah, whatever those red chilies are in there, you smell that. It's very nice. Should be a wild ride. I'm telling you, this sauce, let's rock the boat. Cheers. On flavor. That's incredible. The incredible taste of it just knocks me away. Um, they said that they have something that would make me like habaneros. Mr. K. John Hard said that he was a habanero expert and that 
it would be a nice experiment with me. And um I have to say that's a, a good first try. Um I taste you know what? This sauce would probably go good on an egg roll. A Chinese egg roll. Or put it on top of Chinese rice. White rice. Um, it, it's a, a, a zingy type of taste and flavor. Um, I taste habanero. Um, and I do taste the gar... I taste the garlic. Um, there's a little bit of a uh, um, there's a red chili flavor. It's 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 a bigger flavor than the habaneros. I taste the red chilies more often. Um, so on taste, that would be. I don't know how to. I mean, it's incredible. Um, I give you an 8 out of 10 for flavor. 8 out of 10. Um, it's incredible. And I can't say anymore. I'm going to do another short little spoon to try to see what else I can pick up. It's same. <sighs> Habaneros. That's I'm picking up that slightly, and I'm picking up uh, that's all really. I told you the taste. I told you what I thought about the flavor. Um, heat wise, it is not. It's. To a chili head, it wouldn't be that bad. Um, anybody could eat this sauce. You could eat this sauce with anything, and it wouldn't be that bad. Heat-wise, I give it a 3 out of 10. Um, it's something you can put on any meal you eat for supper. Any meal you eat for lunch. And it wouldn't be bad. You could feed this to your children. In, whether they're nine or six, I don't care. Feed it to your people. People. That is all for my review. Until next time, keep it simple and straight. Stay sexy and eat chilies. Peace, mother.